New Zealanders being hungry for change. Kia ora and welcome to Not the Six O'Clock News for Wednesday the 17th of September. I'm Lila Harre, leader of the Internet Party and candidate for Internet Mana. We are very pleased this evening to bring you Glenn Greenwald's last video interview in New Zealand. We literally caught Glenn on his way out of the door to the airport for this exclusive interview and we've asked him a few last questions. What do you say in response to the Inspector General of Intelligence claiming that there is no mass surveillance in New Zealand? From what I understand, she said she's seen nothing that indicates there's mass surveillance, but I don't know what she's seen, but I know that she hasn't seen all of the evidence. She should actually take a look at the evidence we've produced as part of our article that makes very clear that a program of mass surveillance that was planned between the NSA and the GCSB proceeded to be implemented through at least phase one, which says phase one achieve, um, as well as the very clear evidence from Mr. Snowden that says that large amounts of metadata indiscriminately collected about New Zealanders is within the X key score program to which the government of New Zealand has access. And I think it's important to note that throughout the reporting we've done around the world over the last year, all sorts of people in oversight positions over these agencies have come out and said that there's so much that they learned from our reporting that they previously didn't know. Um, the very first interview that I did here in New Zealand was followed by an interview with the leader of the Green Party who said he sits on the committee responsible for overseeing the GCSB and much of what he learned about what they do, he learned by reading in the newspapers. And so there's a pattern of systematically keeping evidence away from the people in these oversight capacities she may not have seen evidence of mass surveillance, but the evidence we produced is very clear on that question. What leaks are to come? We definitely still have very significant stories left to do about GCSB, including the countries on whom they're spying, um, on whose behalf they're doing that, the means they're using to do that, uh, the financial relationship that they have with the NSA and the GCSB. There's still definitely a lot of uh, important stories left in the Snowden Archive that will be reported. We're working in conjunction with journalists here in New Zealand to get those reported as soon as possible. Please explain the Prime Minister's declassification of the Cortex programme versus your actual leak of the spear gun program? I think everyone who has now looked at the documents that Prime Minister Key released has concluded very decisively that the project that he released documents about, Project Cortex, is a radically, really fundamentally different project than the project on which we reported, Project Speargun, which is notable because he vowed at the very beginning of this process to release documents proving that the system of mass surveillance on which we were reporting was one that he intervened in and stopped. And yet the documents that he released didn't remotely do that. In fact, they didn't even pertain to the same project, um, though they do raise their own questions, including the fact that they say that there is access into the South Cross uh, cable, um, which they originally denied. And so there's a lot of questions about the extent to which they've obtained access into that cable. How did you find your trip to New Zealand? My trip was excellent. Um, I feel like we did a very important job of forcing Prime Minister Key for the first time to make crucial admissions about what the GCSB is doing. And I hope that New Zealanders ask themselves all the right questions about why they weren't told that earlier and why the stories have been so inconsistent from the government. And in further developments today, Internet Mana has said that we want a new government to consider providing safe passage and residency in New Zealand to Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden has recognised around the world as having provided us a huge public service with his revelations of the extent to which our governments are undertaking mass surveillance on us. His motivation was completely ethical. Not only was he concerned about the fact of mass surveillance, but he was especially concerned at the systematic deceit of governments to their citizens in covering this reality up. How do you feel about Edward Snowden coming to New Zealand, a democratic English-speaking country which could give him safe haven while he fights his own case with the US government? Well, that's it from us tonight. Ka kite anō and stay informed, Aotearoa.